guys know what time it is, Man Cave Monday Collection. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Jose. So, Civil War. Dun, dun, dun. We spoke about how we are going to bring this video to you guys once we picked up Giant big, Man. The big fellow over there. Um, if you guys have not seen that video, check it out. Awesome video. It's on our channel. All the videos are amazing and awesome, by the way. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. It's not just one. It's all. So, Civil War. Um, possibly Marvel's best movie they've made. Marvel movies are just amazing. Deadpool was the best Marvel movie made. All right, let's, let's get that right. All right, okay? all right. Side, let's, on a side note here, this is the best superhero of all time. Okay, you guys vote. You guys vote in the comments below. You guys vote what was the best Marvel movie anyway, so far. I've never really spoken about it, but Iron Man is my favorite superhero. You guys know Joker is my favorite character, but Iron Man is my favorite superhero. Um, so yeah, that's what's the different most DC Marvel? Yeah, so if I had to pick a Marvel superhero in general, either way, Tony Stark, the man. So let's get into it. Giant Man, you guys already saw the video of. Um, we're running through real quick if you haven't seen it. Um, it's just a six inch figure of Giant Man. Obviously, um, when Ant Man becomes Giant Man in the movie. Yeah, he does the reverse. So, it's pretty big. The details are pretty good. Yeah, it's like the same thing as an Ant Man, guys. It's to be up. honest, just really huge. Um, on the back has everybody that you're going to pretty much be seeing here. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty much it for Giant Man. He is a six inch figure. He is big, obviously, <laughs> and yeah. Here we got um, Scarlet Witch. Uh, she she came out in the what was the movie before? Winter Soldier, and then she carried on into uh, Civil War and the Avengers Two and all that. Um, it's just a your basic uh, pop, your basic Scarlet Witch pop. Um, she's doing her her pose like she's about to. Yeah, she's wearing her, her jacket. Um, yeah, her red Scarlet jacket, which is details are great. Yeah, you can see like a little zipper, or is that the yeah, is there the clothes change? No, her clothes. Her um, under, like a corset. The other corset that she's wearing. Um, her nails are painted black. Um, she's doing. She looks like she's about to to cast one of her her spells that she does in the movie. And the back of her box is just like what he said with the the giant man. We see everybody. It's a it's a basic pop. It's part of the line. Um, the only one we didn't get was Agent Thirteen. We just yeah, we really didn't care for that. Yeah, but as you can see, we have everything else. Um, so we <clears throat> get into this guy. Uh, Winter Soldier. So you have him here, um, he's not wearing his mask or anything like that, as you guys can tell. He has his gun, he has his red star on his on his sleeve, arm. on his arm. Um, everything else is pretty good on this pop. Uh, we like this pop a lot. Yeah. We do have the other Warner Soldiers that came out for the other movies. Obviously, it's not part of this one. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, everybody likes Bucky. Bucky's one of those characters that everybody likes. Same as the back of the box, everything's there. All right, so before I get into the lovable Tony Stark, we got War Machine, which is Iron Man's best friend, um, the general. This one, this one's awesome. I mean, the suit is wrong. Yeah, it's it's just like Iron Man's suit, but it's not because if you guys know, um, War Machine was Iron Man's suit at one point, then it became Iron Patriot, and so on, like in the other Iron Man movies, and the military takes over the suit, hence. It's called War Machine. War Machine. He has a sword. He has a sword that he uses in the movie. Um, it's dope. I mean, it's gray, black, silver. But it's cool about it is that it looks like it's a steel suit. That's what yeah. it's supposed to look like at the end of the day. It's supposed to look like it's an Iron Man suit. <laughs> um, that's why, well, you know, what came out of that. Yeah, you can tell the difference between this suit and an Iron Man suit, obviously. So, yeah. Um, next over here, we got Falcon. So, this is Falcon from Hot Topic Exclusive. As you guys can see, he's in his flying pose. Um, he has his cool shades on. <laughs> he has his wings in the back, as you can tell there. Yeah, that, that's an awesome pop. The way he's flying. Pop is really good. The base. The side that. here, if you can't really see, that's him there. Post it up, about to fly. Um, I really like action pose pops because mm -hmm. it actually catches the characters, yeah, actual adds, characters, to, to them, yeah. you know what he what he does or what he's about to do. So this pop was, like I said, a Hot Topic exclusive. It was hard to find. Yes, um, it's, it's still, I mean, I think it's sold out already. I don't even think you can find it anymore. I wouldn't be surprised. But actually. overall, pop is good. Boxes are great. Yeah, all these pops are, all these boxes that these pops are in are pretty, pretty darn good. So yeah, that's Falcon. All right. My man, Tony Stark. We have the Iron Man pop, um, the regular one. Uh, so like I was saying about the Iron Patriot, it's it's like your Iron Man suit from um, the Avengers, Avengers Two, the Iron Man movies. Um, his details are really are really cool. The way they painted it, like you can actually see the silver making him. Oh yeah, you can see. You him can tell he's a machine suit. Yeah. Um, 
everything's pretty cool. Like it's the, the more updated suit, you know, uh, I think it's the Mark 44 or 45, the, the number suit. And then here we have the Hot Topic Unmasked version. I love this one. It, it looks so like epic with the, the face move that came up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. You're able to capture the fact that his mask is off, like, you know, when he takes it off and he talks, and you're actually able to see Tony Stark underneath the mask as well, yeah, which is really cool. Because that Tony Stark pop is like $300 from the Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. Yeah, the, uh, Iron Man. Yeah. But, um, Another Hot Topic exclusive, guys. Just like Falcon. I think he came just out. Just like Falcon. I believe they came out together. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, but I, he was I think way they easier to get than Falcon for some reason. I remember. But I now they're got an album price. Yes. Yeah. Uh. I woke up, got him, checked it out, no problem. All right, so now over here, we have a drop box. Um, you have Captain America. This is Captain America regular, um, pretty much with his old school suit, I want to kind of say, because that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, it's like his iconic. His iconic Captain America suit. Then you have Captain America GameStop exclusive. This is the one where he has the shield he's and he's pose. actually doing his action pose. I love that one a lot. So like I was saying, guys, action pose pops are the best. So you can see the difference there. Standing regular pose and he has a shield. Mm -hmm. Awesome pop. Um, GameStop exclusive as well. So this, you know, Civil War line came out with a lot of exclusives and came out with a lot of pops, yes. as you guys can tell here. Um, we also have the four pack. The four pack. I think this is a. Possibly the first four pack because they came out with that crazy five pack, I think it was, but it was only like a Europe Disney release. Oh, right. But that one's ridiculous to get. I even tried buying it, but so you don't ship. Four pack here, you have on this side the uh, pop keychains. Yeah. They're not pocket minis, they are keychains. Um, keep that in mind. It's going to be Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Captain America. I mean, <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> I saw Marvel here and I was like, Captain America. You got excited, you got excited. And then you have... Um, Hawkeye and Spider-Man. Hawkeye and Spider-Man. This is pretty cool because they don't have Hawk, Hawkeye in this line, the actual line. It's like if you saw in the back of the boxes, he was never there. Nor was Spider-Man. Because nobody really knew Spider-Man was even in the movie until that trailer came out. And he's like, on the roofs or whatever. On the roofs, he's, I think, the Iron Man calls out and he takes his shield. Hence why he has the shield in his hand. Which is awesome, guys. I yeah. can't stress that enough. Spider-Man holding Captain America's shield. That is off the chain, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Um, not only that, you have Spider-Man in an action pose and you have Hawkeye in an action yes. pose. Uh, Captain America and Iron Man are just regular, regular like I said, just yeah. regular keychains, but the other two are in a pose. Um, it's a four pack nonetheless. I kind of would have just wished they would have done all four of them the same size. Yeah. Um, instead of the keychains, I mean. I guess because they already have that like, separate. But then again, you can still buy a Captain America keychain, like without a problem. Maybe like Iron Man with the yeah, with his know, hand out, his hand out. That would have been pretty cool. But then again, like he said, their action pose, the uh, Spider Man and Hawkeye, it's pretty cool. And I'm glad we were able to pick this one up. This one you can still purchase it. This was not too hard to find. Yeah, that one still, guys. It's um, it was like twenty four ninety nine. I believe like that. Not too like bad. That. Price. Um, you can still pick that up at GameStop. I've seen them at GameStop. I've seen them at I think um, I saw that Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and, and Nobles. We did see it recently, and I. I think I'm don't hold me a carnival to this. I think I also saw it at Walmart. Not 100 awesome. percent sure on that, but well, I'm we all know pretty how sure. Walmart is anyway. So then, um, how did you do this? Because I know you like it. Yeah. We got crossbones. So we have regular crossbones. We have damage, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Battle, Battle damage, damage crossbones, and then you have unmasked um, crossbones. So this one. We'll start off with is unmasked. This is a Barnes and Nobles exclusive. So you see, he's not wearing his mask. Yeah. He doesn't have anything at all on his face. So you can actually see what happened to him. Yeah, you kind of that face kind of looks like the unmasked Deadpool's that they came out with. The yeah, it kind of looks like that, and also with like a little bit like of a uh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. So I mean, he does have as you guys know in the movie with his eyes messed up on one side. And his whole features that are on his face came out excellent as far as his arms and everything. Awesome as well. And the hair kind of sells it on the actor. Yeah. I remember saying he's the one from The Purge and Crossbones. You could tell it's him just by the hair alone. And it's, that one's pretty cool. This one wasn't too hard to get. We went into Barnes & Nobles and had a, a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. it's still... I, I still see it trickled in some yeah. Barnes & Nobles here and there, to be honest with you guys. Um, then you have Battle Damage. This was a Target exclusive. This one, in the beginning, nobody was grabbing it. 
Yeah. Um, so right? We were going movies. to the targets and we still see him after we already had purchased it. It was like 12 or 14 of them. It wasn't just one, two, no, it was like 12 of them. Now he's nowhere to be found. Yeah. Like now where everybody, I guess, we're just like, oh, the movie's awesome. Let me go pick it up. Yeah. That's probably what happened. So if you did, cool. Um, so that's when you have the battle damage, his helmet's pretty much smashed in. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like broken apart if you compare it to the, the regular one. And then, of course, you have the regular one where his mask is completely perfect. Everything is spot on. So the only really difference is you have unmasked, battle damage, and regular. Yeah. So that was what they did there with crossbones. Those are pretty good. I, I'm glad we were able to get all three of them. Now, speaking of all three, we got the Black Panther. He's another one that had three variations. We have the regular one. We had the Walmart, which is like the Black, Black Onyx. Black Onyx. And then unmasked, unmasked the Walgreens edition of him. So going into the Black Panther pop, this pop is awesome. Um, he's he's one of my favorite superheroes. Not my favorite, but one of them. He's very underrated. No, not much people give it give him much thought. But I think he's a pretty uh, pretty badass uh, superhero. Um, if you guys don't know Black Panther, he owns a country where they have the medal that makes Captain America shield. Blah blah blah. Rundown. So yeah, going into the pop, blah blah blah. Rundown. Yeah, right? you know, you guys that's, that's all you guys really need to know, right? He's a Black Panther. He's epic. He's badass. Just. Is it me though? I'm not, I'm gonna be 100% honest. On you. Is it me or does he not look like Will Smith in a black <laughs> leotard suit? I'm just saying. He kind of does. It looks like Will Smith to me, guys. So look, check it out. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> uh, none of this is cool. Um, out of the whole Black Panther one, um, my brother is happy we got them all. But the one I like the most is. Is it this one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's this one right? The Black Onyx. The Black Onyx. This one here is awesome. Yeah, you, you can guys tell the difference. can. Get a close little view on there. It has kind of like a shimmer to it. Yeah. Um, not much as glitter, I, I would say, but it has like a shimmer to it. We can tell a little bit of a difference. So, you know, the only way to really tell a difference, because if I were to do this, you ain't really going to know. But the only way to really tell a difference is if you get up pretty close in person. Yes, you can tell the difference. And that one was painted really well, the, the black onyx in it. Um, this one at first was kind of complicated to get. Like, it's on Walmart.com, guys. Yes, it's still there. For eight seventy eight, so it's actually fairly cheap. Yeah. Walmart pops are tends to be cheap, but it's just the, the problem of getting it. But this one, you could, you still be able to get it online without a file hassle. We like to help you guys out. Yeah. Um, we're not in it to make money. We're not in no. it because of anything like that. We, we do like to help out our fans, and we enjoy what yeah. we do. So that's why I'm letting you guys know on Walmart.com you can still pick up this pop. Just put Black Panther pop. And if you don't have a Black Panther one. and you wanted to get one, I recommend the Walmart one. They have both of them, and I actually think they have the regular one for like nine seventy nine, and this one for like eight seventy eight. So, a dollar less and you get the exclusive free in-store pickup. Come on now, like. Cha-ching! And then Walgreens, we all know how complicated it is to get a Walgreens. But this one, not too bad. I went on vacation and there was like 10 of them, 11 of them. But, but yeah, I'm, I picked this one up because like I said, it's one of my favorites. And pretty much done the set. Yeah, we completed the set, guys. <laughs> I mean, like you said, we didn't pick up Agent 13. That was kind of irrelevant, to be honest with you, with the whole Civil War thing. Um, so we kind of ixnay, but she is available at Walmart because I've seen her. I've seen her at Walgreens. I've seen her everywhere. Yeah. I mean, so I'm I guess sure everybody else is feeling like man cave on the same page as far as you don't even really need it. Yeah. And then for you guys um, who tune in and watching the video, we got a little surprise for you guys. We got a little unboxing to do with you guys. <laughs> All right. These are um, Disney Vinyl Mations. These are Disney Vinyl Mations. <clears throat> We have a few that we collect. Um, like we said, 9K collectibles, we collect it all. We do it all. Um, and like we said, we love Disney. So, and if you know, so yeah, these are, Marvel owns Disney, so. Yeah, so these are Disney's uh, Vinylmations. They came Civil War. So they're obviously they're protectors. not been opened, guys. Yeah. Uh, I will not lie to you. And you'll notice because they come like back little baggies or something like that, so. So we figured, let's open it with our fans. So let's do it. You wanna go to the first one? Go for it. Yeah. Um, actually, go ahead. So while he's opening, I'll tell you guys you um, <laughs> what you're able to grab out of here. You're able to grab Captain America, Iron Man in the MK46 suit, Falcon, Winter Soldier. Can you make any more noise? Black Widow, Black Panther, War Machine, and the Chase. I and that's what you can see there. We're not sure what the Chase is. I'm betting to say it might be Ant Man. So or Spider Man. Or Spider Man. <laughs> can I say? You can do this by himself, Iron Man. Um, let's get into the first one. Like you said, I was wrong. It's not black baggy. It's a little silver one. Sealed. Knife out. Gotcha. Sealed, guys. Thank you first. I'm gonna say this is uh. Don't do that. You can't tell. They're all shaped like this. I bet. Let's bet on it. Go ahead. Falcon. We'll bet lunch on it. 
I said War Machine. All right, let's do it. Guess who owes me lunch? <laughs> this, this man just got I was one of the best guys. I'm just letting you guys know. He looks so, he looks so chubby cheeked. He looks so chubby cheeked. <laughs> Falcon from Civil War. Check it out, guys. Uh, nah, but it's cool. Uh, he has the wings on the back. Awesome. Um, Vanimations, if you guys didn't know about them and you're now starting to learn about them, Vanimations are Mickey Mouse uh, model, just painted as far as the what different characters that they're in. There's a whole oh my bunch of Vanimations, guys. Um, so there you have it. Falcon. He has a, on the back of it, you can even tell he's wearing the goggles because it has a strap for it. Oh. And with the, yeah, check it out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Arms are closable. Disney, Disney does great detail in everything they do. Because it's Disney, I guess they can afford to do my turn. Details. So we'll do it the same way. I'm going to let you move it around. Okay. Oh, no, stop. You're moving around too much. I don't see you. You're moving around too much. All right. What are my options here? I am going to say it's another Falcon. I'm going to say the same. No bet on this one. <laughs> I think it's another Falcon. No bet on this one. Hello. Hey, hey, there we go, guys. Another Falcon. I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, yeah, let's do another review of Falcon again. <laughs> so there we go. Another Falcon. All right. I will. I'm hoping for Iron Man. If it's not Iron Man, I might be a little disappointed. Yeah, we'll do the last one. No, last one. Just for you. Oh, definitely not Falcon, guys. Definitely not Falcon. Definitely not Falcon. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, your first two shots. Who is it? Who is it? Who, is it? who do I think it is? Listen, listen. That's hard to tell because they're all shaped the same. It's Captain America. I'm going for Black Panther. Captain America. Lunch again? Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Captain America, guys. This is Captain America. This guy's rich. Remember, guys, cut away from yourself. Lunch again! Double or nothing, huh? Yeah. How is this man doing this? I'll tell you right now. Shield. Oh! Sorry, guys. Yeah. It's cool it comes with a shield, though. Guess, uh, uh, I guess I got the smart jeans on this side, huh? So we got um, Chunky Chris Evans, in other words, Captain America, with the shield. It looks like he hasn't been doing much saving lately. Shield's pretty cool. He's been saving food for later, but he's been saving. I can be Captain America. Look, I have a shield. Hey! Let's see if I can throw and come back to me. Don't do it. Don't do that. Um, this one's pretty cool. I like the ears, the blue ears. Maybe that shows who's team Iron Man, who's team Cap. That's probably how you can tell. We don't know because we don't have many of them. Yeah, if you look at the box, that's how you tell me who's on what team. That's pretty cool. Having a technical difficulty trying to put on the shield. It's chubby Captain America. Good enough. There it is. Good enough. So we got Captain America, two Falcons, guys. And here we go. All this. You can't tell who it is. That's pretty good, There's I no guess. shield. There's no wings. There's no shield and no wings. So guess what? It's not Captain America and it's not Falcon. I'm gonna say Wonder Soldier. I'm gonna go with. Um, I say Wonder Soldier. I'm gonna go with Black Panther. Come on, Bucket. Can I go three for three? You go three for two, I'm never doing this again. Oh, <laughs> three for three, guys. Guys, you're witnessing it here. Three for three. Black Panther, guys. Wow. Check it out. You got wow. Black Panther with the red. So I guess that is how you can tell. Captain yeah, America, that's Captain. Cool. That's cool. That's, that's cool. awesome, guys. They changed the ears. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Look at it. One red, one blue. That's pretty cool. Um, I think this is rigged. I think this guy knows something that I don't know because he is three for three, and I am zero for four. You know what? Oh, so technically, I'm now uh, four zero. Oh. Technically, yeah. yeah four zero. So should we let you even open the last one since it's not 4-0? No? Alright, hope, hope it's Iron Man, please. Hope for Iron Man. I think it might be War Machine. If it's War Machine, I'll be delivered. Hope it's too close to Iron Man. 